We love you this morning. Come on, I worship you. I worship you, my God. You are God. You are God. You reign in majesty. You are God. Awesome God. You are the King of all the earth. Awesome God, oh, Jehovah, who is there like you, my God? You reign all over the earth, Jehovah, Jehovah, no one else like you. Come on, church. Awesome God, oh. You are holy, glorious. You are faithful, your mercies endure us. Jehovah, no one else like you. Come on. Awesome God. Lord, I worship. I worship you. You are God. You are God. You are God. Come on. You reign in majesty. You are God. You are God. Awesome God. You are the King of all the earth. Awesome God. Oh. Jehovah, Jehovah, who is there like you, my God? You reign all over the earth. Jehovah, no one else like you. Awesome God, oh, you are holy. Glorious, you are faithful, your mercies in your heart. Jehovah, no one else like you. Awesome God, God awesome, awesome God, oh, awesome God. Oh, awesome. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lift your people up before you on this morning. Everybody, under the sound of my voice, you know their needs, their heartaches, their pains, their griefs, their sorrows, their strengths, their weaknesses, their victories, their losses. I pray you minister to everyone, the rich, the poor, everybody under the sound of my voice. Let the word of God come alive to them on this morning as we talk about more than a conqueror. Strengthen your people this morning. Encourage them, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Someone say a good amen right there. Now listen, I want to take you into the word of God as we talk about more than a conqueror. Oh, I tell you, this is very encouraging. Listen to the word of God. Listen to the word of God right here. The apostle Paul said, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? It's a rhetorical question. The Apostle Paul said, as it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. You know, Christianity is not a joke. Some of us may die for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ in this generation. It's not all about blessings. 
God have called some of us to lay our lives down. People, Christians are dying around the world today for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you are a Christian, it does not guarantee that you may not have to lay your life down for the Lord Jesus Christ. This ain't popular preaching today, but it's the gospel. The apostle Paul was persecuted. The apostle Peter, the apostle James got beheaded for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. John the Baptist was beheaded for taking a stand and pointing out that Jesus Christ was the Messiah and dared to call a king out and tell him, you're in sin, you got to get it right. You cannot have your brother's wife. So the apostle Paul I love this kind of gospel because it brings us into balance. It helps us to realize that this is not a joke. We are involved in warfare. This is life or death. This is sink or swim. This is win or lose. Are you listening to me? But listen to what the Apostle Paul said in verse 7. My God, I love the word of God. The Apostle Paul said, I don't care what it is that's coming against you. Look at what he says in verse 37. The Apostle Paul say, no, in all these things, my God. He said, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ, which love us. Now watch this. The word conqueror right there means to gain a decisive and surpassing victory. My God, I believe I'm talking to somebody under the sound of my voice this morning. You're going, I feel the Holy Ghost, man. You're going through something. Your faith is being tried. You're being tested. You're being falsely accused. You are being attacked from the left. The right, the back, the front. Attacks are coming from the east, the west, the north, and the south. That I drop by to tell somebody that you are more than a conqueror through Christ, which loved you and gave himself for you. Somebody ought to shout and help me give him a praise right there. I feel the anointing. Glory to God. Jesus said it like this. If a man wants to follow me, he must first deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. That's not a popular message on this in this generation. But God is calling us to forsake all and to follow him because victory it comes in your surrender, your breakthrough, your miracle, your turnaround. It comes as you say, yes, Lord, not my will, but yours be done. Somebody shout more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. No weapon that's formed against you will be able to prosper. And every tongue that rise against you in judgment, it shall be condemned. This battle is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. Shout yes. Shout yes. I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. So the word conqueror means to gain a decisive and surpassing victory. What are you talking about this morning, Pastor Sean? How about Daniel? They locked him up in a den of hungry lions. The men that lied on Daniel, they thought by tomorrow morning it'll be over. We'll have his position. Oh my God. But when the king ran down to the lion's den, he cried out, Oh Daniel, servant of the most high God, is your God, is he able to deliver you from the mouth of the lions? And there was a great silence and all of a sudden there was a voice that came bursting through the silence. It was the voice of Daniel. Daniel said, Oh King, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Daniel said, Oh King, live forever for God 
have sent his angel by night and shut the mouth of the lions that upon me they have done no hurt because I'm innocent my God the king began to rejoice because he realized that the God of Daniel delivered shout yes shout yes shout yes and the Bible says and the Bible says they roll the stone away they put down the rope and they pull Daniel from out of the den of the lions not a scratch was on Daniel's body when Daniel cried and said king I'm alive I'm well he was a conqueror but when they pulled Daniel from out of the lion's den and they took his enemies and fed them to the hungry lions Daniel became more than a conqueror he gained a decisive victory I'm preaching to somebody this morning under the sound of my voice your back is against the walls but the Holy Ghost gave me a message to drop by and tell you on this Sunday morning that God is about to give you a decisive victory it's gonna blow your mind it will send a clear message to the gates of hell that Jesus said upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it somebody help me shout on this morning hey more than a conqueror somebody shout it more 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 than a conqueror you're coming out of it I need Paul went a step further he said I'm persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus not even death can separate us from the love of God Paul said absent from this body I'll be present with the Lord you are more 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 than a conqueror you are more you are more God is on your side and God is getting ready to bring you from out of that mess up from out of that situation my God he's turning it around right now somebody help me praise him glory to God somebody help me praise him come on and praise him come on and give him glory somebody shout just run around in your house and give him the glory give him the praise there's a breakthrough there's a shift there is a turning God is working it out in your situation my Bible says and we know that all things it works together for good to them that love God who are called according to his purpose the situation that you are in it's working together for your good shout and help me praise him hey I feel the Holy Ghost my God my God my God my God my God my God hallelujah glory 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 come on and praise him give him glory 
give him glory. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Glory to God. Jehovah, who is like you? Who is there like you? My God. You reign all over the earth. Come on. Jehovah, no one else like you. Guess what? He's an awesome God. Oh, you are holy, glorious. You are faithful. Your mercy is in us. Jehovah, no one else like you, my God. Awesome God. Come on, church. Jehovah, who is there like you, my God? You reign all over the earth. Jehovah, no one else like you. Awesome God. Oh. You are holy, glorious. You are faithful. Your mercy is in us. Jehovah, no one else like you. Awesome God. Listen here. I want to give you an opportunity on this morning. To just stand with us and support the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. We can't do this without you. You can visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail in your donations and your offerings. Just remember to make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011 We love you so much. We really appreciate you. Never forget this message this morning. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror because God is going to give you a decisive victory. Are you listening to me? I say God is going to give you a decisive victory. Now, for the rest of you, for the rest of you that's under the sound of my voice, I want to give you an opportunity to go ahead and subscribe to our channel right now. By subscribing, you'll get all of the videos that we upload and every time we go live, which we do every Sunday night and Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, you will receive those notifications. Just make sure that your notifications are turned on. God bless you. Bye-bye.